once. Shame on. Shame on you. You fool me, we can't get fooled again. No, you a liar. Yeah. All right, so I guess we already knew this though. <laughs> Some people have way too much coin on their hands because for them to already be handing it over hundreds and hundreds of dollars over to this fire festival, two thing that, I mean, they they haven't even told y'all which island in the Caribbean that they going to yet. Y'all got way too much coin on your hands. I saw this Entertainment Weekly article. I was just like, girl, I need to bring it to my girls. We regret to inform you that Fire Festival 2 tickets are officially on sale. Now, I don't have to go into too much detail about what happened last time. Y'all already know it was give a scam upon scam upon scam. Um, I don't have to remind you these ugly ass styrofoam plates with that them. <laughs> Look at this fucking plate, bitch. Like imagine getting that shit and then these bitches saying, eat up, mama. <laughs> I would be like, you got to be kidding. Anyway, so Billy McFarlane's stint in prison for fraud gave him the time to churn out a 50 page business plan to revive fire festival and now you can buy tickets girl 50 page business plan i want to see how long the business plan was for the first one because you really didn't need 50 pages for that first one you just need one page you just actually you just needed one word all you had to do was write scam and th just write the word scam in like 200 font on on one page and give it to the people who are asking to see what the fucking business plan was because girl there's absolutely no way okay let's just keep reading let's just keep reading in a youtube video posted sunday the convicted con artist <laughs> the convicted con artist officially announced fire festival 2 set to take place in the caribbean sometime at the end of 2024 uh last time i checked the site which i guess this is it uh girl I, <laughs> they said it was like december 2024 or some shit it was gonna happen um but as far as we're specifically in the caribbean that shit is not has not been revealed as of yet now girl let me tell you something if something's supposed to a big ass festival like this supposed to happen in a year almost i mean give or take a year you i mean you don't know the island babes <laughs> babes you don't you don't know the island babes Okay, I mean, okay. <laughs> Let's keep going here. The specific dates, location, and festival lineup have not been revealed, but tickets are currently on sale starting at $499 and going up to $7,999 per the festival website. Y'all, I mean, it's so like the first part sold out. What is wrong with y'all? This is a big day, McFarland says in the video, sporting AirPods and a plush white robe. It has been the absolute wildest journey to get here. And it really all started during a seven month stint in solitary confinement. I wrote out this 50 page plan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So this 50 page plan <laughs> came to you while you were in solitary confinement. You wrote this whole up while you were in solitary for scamming i mean even if you weren't in so even if even if this did not come from you while you were in solitary even if you had just gotten out and, and wrote the uh 50 page plan it's just like girl you went in there for scamming and you're do we don't even know who is going to be the headliner i just I wrote out this 50 page plan of how it would take this overall interest and demand and fire and how it would take my ability to bring people from all around the world together to make it uh, to make the impossible happen uh, with the best partners in the world who have allowed me to be me while executing fires vision to the highest level. McFarland says he spoke to people as far away as the Middle East and South America before deciding to once again bring the fest to the Caribbean. In the meantime, we'll be doing pop-ups and events across the world. Guys, this is your chance to get in. This is everything I've been working towards. Let's fucking go. Um, I also saw that he had said somewhere or in the same video that 
basically he knows that everybody is watching to see whether it crashes or burns or not and he just takes he took the interest that people have in the fire festival or whatever incident uh everything about it um and just sold tickets and i guess it i guess <laughs> Why y'all? Why people keep buying the shit though? Like, why? Why did it sell out, y'all? Like, what do y'all think's gonna happen? I don't know. They shouldn't have put him in prison if y'all gonna go to this shit again. <laughs> they should be locked his ass up if y'all gonna buy the tickets, girl. At this point, at this point, it's a legitimate business, bitch. At this <laughs> Bro, at this point, it is a legitimate business. It's a legitimate business model, bitch. He done riff, wrote fifty fucking pages. He didn't need to write 50 fucking pages. He did not. All he had to do was put the flyer up and people would be buying it. Apparently, how the fuck this shit sold out, bitch? Or at least part of it. Or at least that's what they saying, girl. <laughs> that's what they saying, girl. That's what they said. That's what the website say, bitch. And the website also said that y'all was, <laughs> was not about to get no styrofoam plates with plastic ass cheese, bitch. That's what that, that's what that flyer said too, girl. That's, that's what they website said too last time. Girl, get me the fuck out of here. McFarlane was released from federal prison in May 2022 after serving four years for defrauding investors and committing wire fraud in the ill-fated 2017 Fire Festival he launched with rapper Ja Rule, which had been branded as a luxury musical extravaganza with gourmet dining. Look at the gourmet dining. Look at the gourmet dining. <laughs> that amounted to FEMA tents and cheese sandwiches. McFarlane was subsequently transferred to a halfway house for community confinement and has since been uh, on supervised release. McFarlane's attorney told USA Today last year that his client was putting together a team to organize and plan for projects that will allow him to generate the restitution for all those affected. Gruh. So the people, okay, I'm not even going to try and put no logic into that. Uh, McFarlane also apologized for his role during a Good Morning America appearance in November. He said, I let people down. I let down employees. I let down their families. I let down investors. So I need to apologize. I'm wrong and it's bad. Ja Rule, who has also, I remember Ja Rule. <laughs> during that whole thing. Ja Rule, who has also apologized for the ill-fated fest and maintained uh, that he too was scammed and bamboozled, told people earlier this year that he would not be involved in any fire follow-up. Hell yeah, Ja Rule said, girl, just like Bush said in the beginning of the video, fool me once. <laughs> ja Rule said, girl, I'm not getting involved. That, mother that motherfucker last time went to jail, went to prison, went to prison for four years, bitch. I'm not doing that stupid shit. You, you find out next time on Dragon Ball Z, bitch. I'm not doing that. Um, and then it just talks about the the what happened with these goddamn documentaries, Netflix documentary and Hulu documentary. Um, but apparently, McFarlane also said earlier that he's going to be developing a Broadway musical based on the fest. I'm just like, girl, please hang it up. <laughs> what the hell going on, bitch? They be so bored. Let me tell y'all what's going to happen. Y'all buy these tickets. Okay. Bitch, they're going to do like a joint brand deal between Spirit Airlines and JJ the Jet Plane, bitch. And they're going to come pick y'all up in a fucking Cessna, girl. They're going to come pick y'all up in Wonder Woman's Invisible Jet, bitch, because y'all ain't getting picked up. Oh, find your, find your own way. Find your way back. <laughs> find your own way to this goddamn island. And guess what? We ain't going to tell you which island it is. Y'all gonna have to guess, bitch. So you're gonna have to get there on your own, guess which island it is, and then if you do find it, it's gonna be a parking lot. Um, the same parking lot that the baby was talking about, people suck it to suck it to. <laughs> It's gonna be a parking lot with big ass fucking tents, bitch. And uh, matter of fact, it's not gonna be big ass tents. It's gonna be a parking lot with saran wrap uh, wrapped around the fences as protection, bitch. We don't have no tents for you stupid bitches. Um, and guess what? We're going to have, I don't even know, who do y'all want as the, the musical uh, headliner? Because does that sound like something you want? Well, let me tell you something. It, the person that you had in your mind, does that sound like something that you want? Well, let me tell you, baby, you'll ne you're never going to get it. The headline, I'm going to tell you who the headliner going to be, all right? 
it's gonna be that motherfucker from the witcher you know what i'm talking about the one who say toss a coin it, what, what <laughs> the song he gonna sing up there is a toss a coin to your nigga because <laughs> we ain't got plenty and he gonna just keep singing that shit over and over until the whole festival i guess is over they gonna take the saran wrap down and tell you tell y'all to call air traffic control yourselves and look for y'all own plane and get the fuck up out of there. <laughs> I hope people, I hate that people buying this shit, bro. Like, why y'all buying these tickets? God, I'm fucking screaming. Anyway, before I really start fucking crying for real, Alex, <laughs> let me get over here, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching the video and make sure that you have a good goddamn day. Mercedes, Mercedes, you could take my soul, just let me be first lady. But I won't sacrifice this pussy for a maybe. You gotta slay me. Hey.